Hello everyone, in this video I'll basically discuss about what is or how does Bellman Ford algorithm work. It is about shortest path from 1 that I'll consider it to be a source to the destination 6. I need to find the shortest path. It uh, works on the principle of making a table of iterations. Iteration 1 or the initial case is when both uh, uh, when every node that is from node 1 to node 5 only I'll consider, I'll not consider node 6 because I have to reach there will be minus 1 comma infinity. I'll explain the meaning of them. That is the initial iteration. Now minus 1 indicates that I do not know which is my next node and infinity in the indicates that my distance to 6th node that is my destination is infinity because I do not know which is my next node or basically node 1, node 2 and all other nodes are saying that I do not know what are my neighbors and I do not know how to reach to 6. So the distance is infinite. Now I will come to the first iteration. In the first iteration what happens is 6 tells its neighbors 3 and 5 that yes we are there. I am there for you. Now because 6 tells 3 and 5, now 3 and 5 know that yes, uh, now I can connect to 6. So, for 3 and 5, 3 says that yes, I can go to 6 with the distance that it will take me is 1. Notice that whenever I say distance, distance can uh, be a, uh, told in terms of the cost. The cost is 1 second, uh, sorry, the cost is 1 rupee, 1 dirham, whatever. The distance is 1 meter, kilometer or the time is 1 second. It can be said in any way or depending upon how the circuit or what is the shortest path, in what terms I am uh, calculating the shortest path. So, 3 says to 1, uh, to 6 that yes, I can connect to you 6 and the distance it will take me or the time it will or the cost whatever is 1, one units. Similarly, 5 says that 6, okay, I can connect to you and the distance or the time it will take me is 2 seconds. But others notice that they are not directly connected to 6, so they do not know and hence they will stay as minus 1 comma infinite. Now the second iteration. As the iteration changes, what happens is whichever new nodes are connected or were there, they tell their uh, neighboring nodes that yes, now we are there for you and we have a path to 6. So we can connect to you. So 3 will tell to 1 and 4 and similarly 5 will tell to 4 and 2 that I can connect to 6. So you also will be able to connect if you come to me. So we will see with 1. 1 has an option to connect to 6 through 3. So if I see to 1, 1 says that ok 3 I am connecting to you and the distance it will take me to connect to 6 will be the distance it was taking from connecting uh, to 2 to 3 and plus the distance that 3 took to connect to 6 which will, which will be 2 plus 1 that is 3. So 1 says or node 1 says that 3 I am connecting to you with a total distance of 3. What happens with the second node? Second node says that I can connect to 6 through 5 only because 5 is the one who gave the option. So 2 says that ok 5 I am connecting to you and the distance it will take me will be 4 that is the distance that travels uh, it takes from 2 to 5 plus 2 that the 5 to, distance that 5 took to move to 6. So that is 4 plus 2 that is 6. Now node 3 says that I can directly connect this is the shortest path for me so I will stick to 6 comma 1. Node 4 says that yes I can connect to 6 but I have two options. 3 also gave me an option to connect to itself, 5 also gave me an option. So I'll choose the minimum, whichever is shortest for me. Seeing or seeing to 3, it takes me 2 plus 1, that is 3 units, or 3 plus 2, that is 5 units. Obviously, three plus, uh, 2 plus 1 is shorter. So 4 says that I will connect to 3 instead with a total distance of 2 plus 1, that is 3. And 5 is directly anyways connected to 6, so the distance is 6, uh, 2 units. Now comes the third iteration. Notice that in this iteration what exactly happened is 4 got activated. 4 and 1, basically everything got activated. So now 4 uh, or 1 has an option to, to either go through 3 or 4 or 2 because everything is activated. See, uh, I do not have minus 1 comma infinity terms in this. So everything is activated. So 1 has an option to either go through 3 or 4 or 2. So node 1 says that if I go through 3, I have an option. Uh, 3 takes a distance of 1 
So 2 plus 1 that is 3 or I can go through 4 which takes me 5 plus distance taken by 4 is 3. So 5 plus 3 8. Obviously this is shorter or I can go through 2 and the distance it takes me is 3 plus the distance taken by 2 is 6. So this is 9. Obviously this is shorter. So it will stick to 3 comma 3. Next comes node 2. Node 2 says again I have an option to go through either first node or fourth node or fifth node. If I go through the first node, the distance it will take me will be 3 units plus the distance taken by the first node which is 3. So it is 3 plus 3 that is 6. Now if I choose this path then it takes me the distance it travels from 2 to 5 that is 4 plus from 5 to 2 which is 2. So it is 6. So I have an option I can either go from 1 to 3 to 6 or from 5 to 6. Uh, let it uh, let just stick with 5 comma 6 for the timing. Uh, by the way there is one more path alternative path which 2 can choose it that is it can go from 4 to 3 to 6 uh, because 4 chose that path. Uh, notice that 4 chose 3 so I go to 4 with a distance of 1 then 4 takes 3 units so 3 plus 1 that is 4 now 4 is shorter than 6 that I was choosing initially so 2 will have a better choice of choosing 4 with a distance of 4 1 plus 2 plus 1 that is 4 so it can reach 6 next comes node 3 node 3 is as simple it is the same thing it doesn't change node 4 has options it can go either through this path or this path or we can choose any path that we like but this path is clearly the shortest so it will stick to 3 comma 3 now 5 again 5 can now go through either this path or it can travel through this path this path it can choose any path but this is again the shortest so it will stick to 6 comma 2 now uh, we can go to the fourth iteration stating that because node 2 was changed so node 2 was changed so the distance to node 2 has also changed uh, so we this is just a counter check problem now uh, we can note that all the distances if again uh, troubleshooted we will get the same distances so this is the final distance that is taken by each and every node to connect to the final node 6 the next part of bellman ford algorithm states is that if i have a circuit setup and if any of the connection breaks then what happens or what are the alternative distances? What happens to the circuit? So let's suppose that this connection breaks. Okay, so when this connection breaks, then 6 will automatically indicate to 3 that yeah, now you are not connected to me. Now because 3 is not connected to 6, so 3 will search for alternative paths. Notice that this was before my breaking uh, or whatever breaking happened and now before breaking, I can state that or uh, this is actually before breaking so i'll write this is before the break happened and this is the final one now what happens in the first iteration in the first iteration 6 tells 3 that you are not connected to me you have to search for some alternative path because the connection between us is lost so either it can go to 1 or 4 now if it goes to 1 then the distance it takes from 3 to 1 is 2 units plus the distance that 1 takes to go to 6 which is 2 plus 3 that is 5 note 2 plus 3 that is 5 or it can go to 4 which is 2 plus the distance taken by 4 which is 3 that is again 5 so it has options let us say that it goes to 4 so 3 says that ok 4 I am coming to you with a distance of 5 an important thing to note over here is that 3 and 6 were connected initially and now they have been disconnected and 1 was actually connected through 3 this this path and 4 was connected through this path because this path is lost only 3 knows that this path is gone they both don't know so even though this is disconnected still 3 is connecting to 4 although this was the actual path later on they get to know that this path was wrong but as of now they will connect through, through this path only so now what happens through node 2 is node 2 there is no connection so initially only 3 gets to connect to either 4 or 1 I have chosen 4 so rest everything remains the same for the second part of this problem which is the breaking one uh, for your simplicity what you can do is where whichever node changes which is node 1 in this case uh, that node uh, wait node 3 states sorry there is 
a little change. This remains 3 comma 3. Note 3 changes. So 3 connects to 4 with the distance of uh, the 4 was taking that is 5. So this is the change. This remains as it is. Node 1 did not change. Initially node 3 was changing. So I have this as 3 comma 3. Remains same. Only this change. Node 3. Okay. Now what happens in the second iteration? Uh, so I was talking about your simplicity is that whichever node changes, you mark it as a star. It's uh, easier in the next plots. Now what you do is, whichever node is marked by star, that is node 3, in the next iteration, you see which nodes were connected to node 3, which are these two. So, node 1 and node 4 have to be changed basically. I'll come to node 1 first. Node 1 says that, okay, I was connected to 3, so I have again options, I can either go to, go to 3 or 4 or 2. If I go to 3, then the distance it takes me is 2 units plus the distance that was taken by 3, which is 5. So, 2 plus 5, that is 7. Or, I go to 4. 4 if I go to 4, then it takes me 5 plus the distance taken by 4 is 3. That is 5 plus 3, that is 8. Or I can go to 2. The distance it takes me is 3 plus the distance taken by 2 is 4. That is 3 plus 4, that is 7. I can choose 3 or 2, my choice, because both of the distances are same. Let me take the distance to be 3. Oh, uh, oh sorry. Uh, let me take the distance that it goes to 2. If it goes to 2, the distance it takes is 7 minutes. This got changed. And the next thing that was supposed to be changed was node 4. Node 4 again has these 4 options. If I go to the first option that is 3, then 3 the distance it takes me is 2 units plus distance taken by 3 is 5. So 2 plus 5 that is 7. So one option is 7 units plus or I can go to 1 which is four, uh, 5 units plus 3. Notice that I do not consider this iteration. I see the previous iteration. What was the distance that the previous iteration was taking? So the distance is 5 plus 3, that is 8, which is greater than 7. So this is better so, so far. And if I go to 2, then the distance I take is 1 plus 4, that is 5, which is now be best so far. Or I can go to 5, and the distance it takes me is 3 uh, plus the distance that 5 takes which is 2 so 3 plus 2 that is 5 so either I choose this path or these these two paths are the optimum suppose I choose 5 it seems closer so whatever so suppose I choose 5 so node 4 gets connected to 5 it says that 5 now I am coming to you and the distance it takes me is 5 minutes rest everything remains same so this stays as it is 4 comma 5 So this becomes 4 comma 5 and this is 6 comma 2. Okay, now uh, these have been marked with star because they have been changed. Node 1 and node 4 were changed. So now in the next iteration, that is the third iteration, node one, uh, whichever were connected to node 1 and node 4 have to be changed. Notice that none of them is connected to node 1. So only two of them are connected to node 4. So basically node 2 and node 3 have to be changed. None of them. Uh, everyone, everything else remains the same. Now I'll come to node two. So because node one is getting changed, uh, I'll write it later. So node two is getting changed. Now node two is over here. It has options to either go to one or four or five. Suppose it goes to one. So it takes distance three to go to one plus the distance that one takes, which is seven. So three plus seven is ten. Or it can go to four, which is one plus distance taken by four is five, which is six units. Or it can go to 5 and the distance taken by 5 is 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2 that is 6 again. So it has option either and it can go to 4 or 5. It was, uh, 1 was, uh, wait, 2 was actually connected to 4. So let it stayed, uh, stay with 4 and the distance it takes is now 6 instead of 4. It got updated. And uh, what about the next thing is 3, node 3. Node 3 says that I was initially connected to 4 with a distance of 5 and now I will be connected to uh, through a distance of 2 plus 5 that is 7. Either That is one option. Or I can go to 1 which is 2 plus 7 that is 9. Obviously this is better so I will stick to 4 comma 7. I don't have any other option so I will stick, uh, stick to this path. And rest everything remains the same. So this is 5 comma 5, this is 6 comma 2, and this is 2 comma 7. Now, just like before, because 
Node 2 and Node 3 have been changed, so I will mark these with a star. Now, Node 2 and Node 3 have been changed. Node 3 is not connected to any other node, and Node 2 is connected to the first node, so this has to be updated. Rest everything remains the same. So, because this has to be updated, so Node 1 has options, wait, then the fourth iteration now, Node 1 can say I can go to 3 or 4 or 2 again. If I go to 3, the distance is 2 plus uh, 7, that's 9. If I go to 4, the distance is 5 plus uh, 5, that is 10, obviously gone. If I go to 2, that is 3 plus 6, that is 9. So I have two options, either go through 3 or go through 2. If I stick to 2, the distance it takes me is 9 instead of 7, that is updated. And uh, this was the only update, rest everything remains the same. So this is 4, 6, 4, 7, 5, 5 and 6, 2. Right? Okay. Now because first node was changed, so I mark it with a star. Notice that now first node is changed and node 1 is not connected to any other node. Rest everything, uh, I don't find there is no one term. And hence, this is the final iteration. So this is the actual answer. Now, because this was disconnected, so these are the revised paths which the nodes have to choose in order for the circuit or the distance or the connection to be established. And this is how Bellman-Ford algorithm works.